Shalom. We the Hebrew Israelites, we come out week in, week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom known as the spiritual Sodom and Gomorrah, the daughter of Babylon, aka America. All right. And on this chart are the people that are promised salvation according to the scriptures in the Holy Bible. All right. And those people are Judah, the so called Negroes, Benjamin, the West Indians, Levi, the Haitians, Simeon, Dominicans, Zebulon, Guatemala, the Panama, Ephraim, the Puerto Ricans, Manasseh, the Cubans. Gad, North American Indians. Reuben, Seminole Indians. Neftali, Argentina and Chile. Asher, Colombia to Uruguay. And Issachar, the so-called Mexicans. All right? So these are the people in the scriptures that are prophesied, all right, that would wake up again and understand who they are. Actually, the truth is not all of us would wake up. But, it's according to the scriptures, the salvation that the one that we know his name is Yahawashai and the world ignorantly calls him Jesus Christ, that he died on the cross for. And only these people alone, according to the scriptures, alright? We facing tumultuous times right now, alright? Wars and rumors of wars, back and forth. North Korea. U.S. and South Korea, Japan. There's all these uh, events that are happening and in, 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 uh, unfolding right before our eyes. You know, today we had the eclipse. So we also measure the times with the seasons and things that happen. We also know what time we're in, all right? So we know we're getting closer, all right, to the destruction of this wicked kingdom known as spiritual, uh, the daughter of Babylon, a.k.a. America, all right? And this place was built on the bloodshed, all right, of the Israelites in the Bible. So over, over 100 million Native Americans, so-called Native Americans, all right, because we say so-called because they're not Cherokee, Choctaw, Osage. They're not Iroquois, all right? But they were Hebrew Israelites. That's why Christopher Columbus came over here his real name was Cristobal Colon, all right? And he had Hebrew interpreters. So he knew, in fact, that there, according to prophecy in the Bible, that there were people here that, according to the scriptures, spoke Hebrew. If they spoke Hebrew, all right, then that must mean that they were Israelites. So according to prophecy, all right, we're men of the Lord that go out to teach this and push this word. And we believe in the prophecy, all right? We have no other way but to uh, uh, believe in something that's going to save us. It's going to save us from situations that happen when, you know, they gun, gun us down in the middle of the streets, the officers, all right? Even our people, over 63 people in Chicago this weekend were shot, all right? Numerous wounded, killed. And the only time it's been more than that was the 4th of July weekend, which is, I believe, a four-day weekend, a Memorial Day, Salakia. So you have to understand that we realize that we're in perilous times, and we're looking for a Savior, all right? And the only one that can save the, the so-called Native American, Hispanic, and Latino in this country, all right, is Yahawashai. That's his Hebrew name, not Jesus, because J was only invented about 300 years ago, so it's impossible. His mother didn't call him Jesus, the disciples didn't, so that's not his name, all right? So it's very important for us to push this message and to go out, because man is getting wild, all right? They said during the eclipse today, there were animals at the zoo, rhinoceroses, uh, giraffes, uh, hippos, when the sun came back, they started acting frantic. They started going wild, all right? It's because the signs of the times, they starting to understand, all right, these things and recognize the signs also. When the people who are at 
uh, Standing Rock and um, Gad and Ruben was out there protesting, all right? There's a stampede of buffalo that, that literally uh, 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 gave a big roar and shook up the earth at that time. But that's because the people of the Most High, they were getting shot with rubber bullets. They were getting, you know, uh, handcuffed and whatnot. So the signs of the times with the with the eclipse, you know, with the um, uh, the events that happened, proving the Bible that we're getting closer and closer to the end times and things that 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 show forth in this Bible and these scriptures. All right, we we'll get to these scriptures because that's the only thing that shows and proves who salvation is actually for. That it isn't for everybody, according to this word. All right. Go to Zechariah chapter 11, verse 5. Because people like to say, you know what? Get over the trail of tears. Get over the fact that the so called Latinos and Hispanics, they need to go back to their country. But the fact is that Arizona, Texas, California was theirs. All right? There's a group of people that say, get over it. We didn't do anything. All right? This is Zechariah chapter 11, verse 5. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. And they own, and their own shepherds pity them not. All right? So we are the descendants of the, of, of the people that had to suffer that were sold in bondage in this country, all right? We're the descendants of people that sold us, all right? And so, right there you have people that are, that are going out saying that, listen, what, what can we do about it? That wasn't us, that was another time period, all right? But the scriptures talk about who we are and who those people are that say that, listen, we didn't do nothing wrong, all right? The scripture says differently. They say that they're not guilty, but they are guilty. They're guilty of, of uh, polluting the air, the water, the land, not respecting the land, pumping our, 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 our um, food and our animals full of chemicals, all right? Full of toxins. A chicken is developed 28 days, you get a fully grown chicken in this country. Can barely stand on its legs, all right? So you have the people that are in charge that are running this system and in this earth right now, they're Esau. And according to the scriptures, Esau had leprosy. If anyone knows what leprosy is, leprosy is the, the deterioration of your pigment in your skin. All right? The only people that have deterioration of skin is a so-called white man. I say so-called because they're not white. All right? They can't even go in the sun for too long without literally their, their skin melting or burning. You must be, it must be a terrible thing to be able to actually go into the sun and not get vitamin D, not be able to get any type of uh, uh, nutrients, but, but burn. All right? So these people, according to Zechariah 11 and 4, they hold themselves not guilty. I'll read it again. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty? And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. All right? So the so-called white men in this country say, What have we done? We haven't done anything. So what about the, the Native Americans and the Trail of Tears? All right. So what about um, um, uh, 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 the Latinos and taking their land from them? So what about the Negro? That is that that doesn't matter. And taking down some stupid statues is not going to fix anything in this country. All right. The only thing it's doing is actually inciting uh, a, a race war in this country. All right. Because half the people who didn't even care about that stupid uh, statues now they're in all uproar. Now they care. Now 
now they're saying, well, why take the statues down? You didn't even care about the statue in the first place until they made it public media. All right? All right? And it's our own people who are the ones out there killing each other. Getting high. Not being productive. Not teaching our children. They're the ones that are actually going out doing uh, a, a lot of the, uh, the crime. Matter of fact, while we're here claiming, a lot of our people claiming Black Lives Matter, uh, 63 uh, dead in the south side of Chicago. And I guarantee you probably none of it was police orientated. All right? So we're living in perilous times right now. We have a president who's overspending his budget. All right? The Secret Service, they're, they're, they haven't they're been paid yet for hours that they've already been, uh, been worked. All right, they have to they have to be responsible for uh, wages uh, in man time, and it's on our dime. If we pay taxes, it's on our dime. So all the resorts that the president goes to, the Secret Service has to follow. His son Eric, the Secret Service has to follow. Okay, we're literally burning through money, over a hundred thousand. All right, I believe a hundred. The figures are a hundred thousand a week. On just Secret Service alone, sixty thousand a week for the family. Here I'll get it exactly. Salakia, a hundred thousand uh, dollars uh, for hotel rooms for his son Eric. All right, that's just for him to go have uh, certain meetings uh, out of country. All right, out of state. What type of meetings? All right. You already see Donald Jr. got in trouble in the hot seat for having meetings already with some unknown, well, it's known now, but not to the American public before, some in, inconsequential uh, uh, Russian lawyer blowing it off saying, ah, it's not that big of a deal. We didn't really expect, uh, we didn't know, we didn't gain too much from it, so what does it matter? But you got another situation where you got another son, Eric, and he's going out and he's broadcasting uh, uh, hey, yeah, I'm going to meet in uh, specific meetings. Well, the Secret Service has to pay for him. All right? And on top of that, we're paying for the hotel rooms for him and the entourage and the children and whatnot. All right? $60,000, all right, is the amount they're paying for golf carts. They didn't even need so much secure, uh, Secret Service Whenever they follow Trump to the resorts that he owns, it costs sixty thousand dollars in, in purchases and golf car, golf car rentals that the that the um, taxpayers have to pay. Right? Nobody says anything about that. That's not being broadcasted in mainstream media. Nobody cares about that. We rather talk about things that have no consequence. Instead of saying the real issues. All right? Now, there's all these councils that Donald Trump was a part of, like Walmart or whatnot. They, they got out. They said, listen, we don't want you a part of the councils of our businesses due to the things that you have to say in this country about so-called African Americans. All right? The people on this side. The so-called Negroes, Native Americans. Okay? Latino. So a lot of people don't like the stand that he's had, that he has and he's making, alright? And they're and they're distancing themselves.